this, my others. This is the last room in the dungeon. So you realize that this particular room is brighter than the other rooms behind you. It is brighter because when the ships arrived, they needed enough light to know who was sick and who was strong to survive the middle passage. So those who were sick and too weak to survive the middle passage stayed behind till the last of them died. Whilst those who could survive were chained, shackled and roped. Gradually they were taken away from here to the boat. But before they were taken to the boat, they got to the door of no return. That was a final exit from the dungeons. So from the door of no return, they were placed on the boat, they joined the ships. And over here, we have some of the chains our ancestors had on. So actually, these are the real ones they had on in the dungeons, because we found these chains in the other chamber, on the other room. It was actually, we had to uproot it from the compact tech thesis and urine. Mm. So it was stacked in the soil, then we, we had to uproot it. So these are some of the chains and shackles, the real ones our ancestors had Can on have... in the dungeons. Yes. You have to take it on Someone behind me asked the question. You gotta take it back, send it to me. <laughs> send it to me, please. Mm -hmm. I will still say forgive them. Forgive ourselves. By allowing them to survive. Mm -hmm. Not forgiving them. Mm -hmm. And they dare to walk so, on this ground. Some of them was like this. Um, you know, they had a, a, a round shackle, right? So there was a chain fixed to your shackle. Yeah. And the same chain was fixed to yours, like this. And the same change sure is so it's basically yeah. like you were chained and broken yeah. in a way that you formed the church was there. So it's like, so you have the chain on, yeah? yeah. You have it. You now the church is up here. So it's like when you pull out from the line, mm. it's basically like you are pulling, with the one you have, it's basically you are pulling everybody along. Everybody so it was quite impossible for you to, to resist or try to escape out of the line. Mm. Uh -huh. Because on records, we learned that moving them from the dungeons to the ships was a crucial moment. Many resist that. Perhaps many had symptoms of what was ahead of them. Uh -huh. So these were some of the chains and shackles they had on. So ladies and gentlemen, after they were shackled and chained, they were taken away from these dungeons to the door of no return. But they didn't go out that way again. You find this wall, this very wall. And our brothers and sisters, right behind the wall, there was a, a tunnel, or a tunnel, a tunnel. So what I'm trying to say is at some point, of this end was opened up. So when the ships come, they will chain and shackle them, move them through the tunnel to the door of the return, the boat and the ships. But unfortunately today, we cannot go through the tunnel. The tunnel is closed. The exit is also closed. Symbolically, the British closed it to say that they've ended the transatlantic slave trade, not slavery. Slave. They only said that, okay, they passed a law saying that you could no longer transport Africans across the Atlantic as enslaved people. Mm -hmm. But if you're an enslaved person already in America, Brazil, Jamaica, etc., you remain so till later, as we know, laws were passed to emancipate them. So the last place the transatlantic slavery ended was in Brazil. That was around 1888. That's late 19th century. So though we cannot go through the tunnel, when we go up again, I'm going to show you some part of the tunnel and the exit. Also, you find wreath. Many of these wreaths are on behalf of brothers and sisters from the diaspora to remember our ancestors. Some of them are also on behalf of visitors and diplomats who do visit this place. So all in memory of the victims of the transatlantic slave trade. Also, I'll talk to you about this altar. Today, this room is a sacred ground. In this contest, I'm talking about the type of spirituality we practice as Africans before the Europeans arrived. So this is to say we knew God. Because often there is a misconception that the African didn't know God. It's just only when the Arabs and the Europeans came that they introduced us to Christianity and Islam that we got to know God. But that's a pure misconception. We had the knowledge that God created everything on earth, including human beings. And when a human being dies, 
if he, if he or she led a good life on earth, he or she becomes an ancestor. So there's this saying. Okay. Yeah, so there's this saying that Samanpa no wotun is in. This is a, a local saying, so I'll translate. You name your child after a good ghost, or you name your child after a good ancestor, because you want that child to emulate that ancestor. So this is to say, we want good people on earth for the survival of humanity. So that is what we believed in. So when you die and you're an ancestor, you are closer to God. We can convey our message through you to God. It's just like, you know, others will say they have saint that they communicate. But when the African remember his or her ancestor, it's something.